So after the feel, after you pick it up and you know you love the feel, the next thing is, does it get that sound? And with a Strat, that sound to me is... Back two pickups, middle and, and bridge pickup. Uh, I have Strats that sound good with the individual pickups, but that position, which is the most stratified of all positions, which it's funny in my studio work, I've probably used that sound on records way, way more than any other sound. It just, it just fits. And um, I do all sorts of different tones, but I, I spend a lot of my time in the clean realm. So a great sounding instrument with, with that sound. And then, the cool thing is to get that sound, you have to have a bridge pickup that has enough brightness but doesn't tear your head off. It's, it's interesting because this one has a little bit of roundness to it. That when you throw it in that position, because it has enough brightness and enough stratiness, when you add this middle pickup in, it still stays strong and focused, as opposed to a lot of Strat type guitars get a little too muddy and you have to end up EQing them and, and uh, to get them to sound like that. But this, this guitar has those basic positions, then the neck position. <laughs> That's how a neck position is supposed to sound. Another position that it's funny because I, I hadn't been doing it a lot is these the neck and the middle position because I haven't really had a guitar that sounds good in that position, but it's it used to be one of my favorite sounds. It's kind of the Robert Cray sound, you know. Which these pickups are very quiet and actually the neck pickup is really quiet by itself, but of course, when you do the hum canceling, it's totally quiet, which is always a beautiful thing in the studio. Uh, then the middle pickup. Has kind of, its own thing too, which I love that about a good Strat type guitar, where you have three individual personalities with the pickups, but then the in-between. 